So here's a simple circuit that has a voltage source and a current source. And they're asking us to use superposition to determine the voltage AB. So here's A and B. So they're wanting the voltage across that uh, 4 ohm resistor there. So remember, when we do superposition, we consider the contribution from each source separately. So let's see how we'd go about that. So for uh, the first condition, we're going to consider uh, the 12 volt source. And when we do that, remember we short all other voltage sources and open circuit other current sources. So in this case, uh, we could take this, we'll open circuit this current source. And when we do, it basically takes out this entire leg of the uh, circuit because now no current can flow through it. So when we do that, this is what we're left with. And so now um, we should be able to see that we have uh, this node here coming all the way from there. And so we're going to call the voltage there VA1 for that node. And so by doing that, then we can write nodal equations for this, for the current entering and leaving the node. So when we do, uh, we will have VA1 minus 12. And again, let me, let me do the color code so everybody can keep up what we're doing. So if we consider this resistor first, uh, then we'll have VA1 minus 12 volts over the 4 ohm resistor. Uh, then we can consider this 4 ohm resistor here. And we do, that's going to be plus VA1 over 4. And then finally, uh, we're going to have these two resistors, they're just in series before they get to ground, right? So we're, we're going to have to come back and account for that to get VAB. But for the time being, um, we can write this then as plus VA1 uh, over 4 plus 2. And so that's everything entering and leaving the node. So we can set that equal to 0. And so we should be able to... Uh, recall how to solve these equations. It's one equation, one unknown. And so when we do just apply algebra, algebraic uh, reasoning to that, what we come up with then is VA1 is equal to 4.5 volts. And so remember though, that's the voltage across both these resistors, so to this point here. We want the voltage to this point here. And so when we have two volt, two resistors in series like that, and we're only wanting to know the voltage across one of them, that's just voltage division. And so we can recall then, if we want to know the voltage across the four ohm resistor from the first source, that is going to be uh, VA1 times uh, our resistor that we're interested in over all the resistances. So in this case, um, that should come out to be 4.5 times 4 over 2 plus 4. And so when we write that out, that's 4.5 times 2 thirds. And then that's going to equal to 3 volts. So that's the voltage from A to B uh, from the first source, just from the first source. So now we need to come back and consider the second source. So when we do that, we need to reset our circuit. So here's what we have. So now we're, now we're going to consider uh, the current source. So we put that there, know what we're working on. And so remember when we do that, we short voltage sources and open circuit current sources the, we, that are ones that we're not considering. So in this case, we have a voltage source here. 
So we can short this guy out. We do that, we just put a line there. And so now we see uh, we have a new circuit and um, we can do kind of like we did before and recognize that we have this node here. And so now we're gonna call this VA2 because it's from the second source. And we can write our equations again. So doing that, um, we're going to see we've got, again, this 4 ohm. Get this cleaned up. We have this 4 ohm resistor here. And so when we write that out, that's just going to be uh, VA2 over 4. Uh, next, we're going to have this 4 ohm resistor. So again, similarly, that's going to be plus VA2 over 4. Uh, then in the th next leg, where our source is, um, remember when we're doing nodal analysis, we're calculating the current entering and leaving the node. So um, in this case, the current leaving the node from here is defined by our source. So we can just say plus 2 plus two amps because it's leaving the node. And so finally, just as before, we've got our four and two ohm resistor in series here. And so we can again write that as VA2 over two plus four. And that's all the branches going in and out of our node. So therefore we can set this equal to zero. Again, we have one equation, one unknown. So uh, if we just apply our algebraic principles here, what we will get is uh, negative three volts, negative three volts. And so, um, again, that's from A to B. That's all the way across here. That's not just across our resistor. But that should make sense if our current source is pushing down, that means it's pushing current back up that way. And so that's the opposite direction from what we've assumed. So the negative three should make sense there. But again, now we just have the voltage divider again. So V4 from the second source, it's gonna be just like it was before. And so it'll be minus three, which is our voltage. And then it's gonna be the volt, the resistors, four over four plus two. And so when we calculate that, uh, we get a minus two volts. And so that's our contribution from our second source. And so now using superposition, VAB uh, is going to be V4 from the first source plus V4 ohm resistor of second source. And so that's going to be 3 minus 2. And so that gives us 1 volt. So we should, if we were to take a voltmeter and put them at A and B, uh, we should measure 1 volt.